Hello artists! For this week's art lesson, we're going to be making some catching snowflake self-portraits. Self-portraits is when you draw a picture of yourself and you make it look like you. I'm going to show you how you can create a self-portrait, especially a winter self-portrait, using some simple shapes and lines that we already know. And since we have gotten so much snow lately, it is perfect for us to have our tongue sticking out and catching a snowflake in the snow in our self-portrait scene. For this lesson, you need a white piece of paper, any size will do, a pencil for drawing, an eraser in case you make a mistake. If you would like to outline your work, you need a black marker of any kind or a black crayon. And when it comes to coloring, you can choose any art materials you want, simple crayons and markers will work just fine. And if you wanna use some blue paint for the blue sky, that's a great idea. So let's grab all of our art materials and get ready to make some catching snowflakes self-portraits. So before we start to draw, let's take our paper in front of us and turn it vertical straight up and down. That way we have enough room to not only fit the hat for our winter self-portrait, but we can also fit our head and the start of our winter clothes on our body. So we're gonna start with the hat first and work our way down. So that means I wanna find a good place to start towards the middle top of my paper. And we're gonna make the bottom of the hat first, or the band. So I'm gonna make a nice curved line that comes across. At the end of that line, I will come straight down a little bit on both sides. And to finish it off and make it almost look like a rectangle, I will just simply go across and connect the two lines. For the top of my hat, I'm going to use a half a circle. Remember, a half a circle is only when we show part of the circle, not all the way around. So I'll go towards the end of my band that I just made for my hat, put my pencil down, and curve over to the other side. Remember, I draw with marker so that you guys can see when you are looking at the video, but you should draw with a pencil first so you can erase if you make a mistake. Now I can leave the hat the way it is, but a lot of winter hats have that little furry pom-pom on top. So I'm gonna just simply take a wavy line and add a pom-pom to my hat. We can go back and decorate our hat with different patterns and designs when we're done with our drawing. Underneath our hat is where we're going to make our curved U shape for the start of our head. So I'm going to go underneath and I'm gonna curve down and around, nice and big, to make the shape of where my head is going to be. Before we go back and add all our facial features, like our eyes and our nose and our mouth, let's complete the rest of our body and winter clothes. So if I have my hat up top, my head next underneath, I'm going to make a scarf around my neck underneath the head. So I'm going to kind of copy that same rectangular shape that I made when I started my hat. So right underneath my head, I'm gonna come down one, two, on both sides. And to connect it, I'll just simply make a line that comes right across. Now when you wrap a scarf around your neck, you have the part that goes around your neck and the other part that hangs down. So towards the side, I'll pick a spot and I can make a wavy line once and a wavy line twice and just simply connect it to make the end of my scarf. And if you'd like to make one of those scarves that has a little bit of fringe on it, that's the little pieces of material that hangs off, I can simply take my pencil and just make some lines right at the end of my scarf. Not every scarf has that, so it's up to you if you want to make it. We're gonna make the start of our body, which would be wrapped up in our winter jacket, real easy. I'm gonna go right underneath my scarf and make a curve that comes down. I'll go on the outside of my scarf on the other side and make a curve that comes down to the bottom of the page. And a lot of times jackets either have a zipper or buttons. So we're gonna make some buttons in the middle. I'm gonna make my straight line down for the center and just add some circles for buttons on my coat. You could always make a different type of coat if you wanted. You could add a pocket, 
You can make it a sweater if you like instead of a coat. It's up to you. Now that I have the basics of my self-portrait drawn, we have to go back and add the actual self-portrait details to make it look like you. So a good idea might be if you're not sure what color your eyes are or what your hair looks like, you could always look in a mirror before you start to draw or you could look in a mirror while you're drawing. That's a great artist trick when you make a self-portrait is to have a mirror nearby so that while you're drawing yourself, you can see what you look like in the mirror. Now there's facial features that everyone has to have. We need to make sure that we make our eyes towards the top of our head. They wouldn't look good in the middle and they definitely wouldn't look good in the bottom. So we have to keep our eyes towards the top and we can start with some circles. So I'm gonna go once and twice and then I'm gonna go back to make the part of the eye that's inside and colored in. That black center of your eye is called the pupil. Around the pupil is the part of your eye that is a different color, whether you have brown eyes or blue eyes or green. So I'm gonna make another little curve that you can color in later to match the color of your eyes. Above our eyes, we've got eyelashes and everyone's got eyebrows, so I'm gonna make my curves for my eyebrows. Below our eyes in the middle of our face is our nose, and we can make our nose many different ways, but the easiest way is to make a simple little curved line. If you have a different way to make your nose, some people like to make it almost like a little L or a check mark, of course you can do that, but the curve is the easiest way to go. Now our mouth is gonna look a little different because we're gonna be catching a snowflake, so we're gonna have our tongue sticking out. But before we make our tongue, let's give our face a nice smile. That'll start us off. Then in the center of our mouth, we're gonna make our curved shape so that we can have our tongue sticking out. And later we can color it pink or red to match the color of our tongue. But because we are outside in the snow, we've got to catch a snowflake on that tongue. So to make a snowflake, we're gonna use our crisscross lines. So I'm gonna start as if I were making a plus sign, and then I'm gonna cross over like the letter X. And there's the snowflake on my tongue. On the sides of our head, we have our ears. And to make our ears, we're just gonna make some curved half circles, once and twice. Now, before you go on and add your hair, you can double check and make sure you have all your facial features, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. If there's anything else that you want to add to make it even more like you, maybe you have freckles on your face, some of us may wear glasses and want to put the glasses around our eyes. Maybe we have our ears pierced and we want to put our earrings in our ears. You want this to look like you. So you have to add any extra details to make sure that you are in your drawing. Now, the other important part that's missing is we need to make our hair. Now, everybody has different types of hair. You may have long hair or short hair. You may have straight hair or wavy hair or curly hair. And whatever hair you have, you just use lines to create it. So if I were gonna make straight hair, I would just make straight lines and I would make it as long as I needed it to be. If I was gonna make wavy hair, I would make wavy lines and I would draw them again as long as I needed them to be. Now, since I want this to look like me, I have curly hair, so I have to make curly lines. So I'm gonna make my long curls coming down underneath my hat. Remember, everyone has different hair, so you draw the hair to make it look like you. Boys might have much shorter hair, so maybe your hair doesn't come down so long. Maybe your hair only comes a little bit underneath your hat. Everyone is different, so take your time to make your hair in your picture. Once you have everything drawn, we can add our snowflakes to the background. So we could do snowflakes the same way we did it on our tongue with our crisscross lines. And 
and we can add our circles as another way to make snowflakes that are falling down all around us. Filling up our winter sky. We've seen lots of snowflakes lately. So we know that they fall in the sky all around us, all over the place. Once you have your snowflakes drawn, if you'd like to add a design to your scarf and to your hat, you can. Maybe your hat has stripes. Maybe you wanna make little different patterns with circles or stars or hearts. Maybe you wanna make your scarf and your hat match or you wanna do something different. There's lots of different designs you can add to the clothes in your picture. So you can get as creative as you like. When you're all done designing your hat and your scarf and your clothes, you can outline with a black marker or a black crayon if you'd like. If not, you can get ready to color in your picture with the art materials of your choice. So here's mine that I already colored in. I just use markers and crayons. Now remember, you want this to look like you. It's a self-portrait. So when you go to color your picture, you should color your hair the color your hair is. Mine's brown, so I colored my hair brown. You should color in your eyebrows and your eyes the color they are supposed to be. Mine are brown, so I'm gonna add a little brown around the black part of my eye. Your tongue is either pink or red, and everyone has a different color for their skin. Maybe it's brown, maybe it's tan, maybe it's peach. You need to find the color that matches your skin, and then you can use that to color in your face and your ears. And as far as your clothes go, you can simply use whatever colors you want your hat and your jacket and your scarf to be. I made mine some patterns with some orange and yellow and purple, but you can make yours as colorful as you like. And the snowflakes stay white and the sky around you is blue. If you wanna use a blue marker or crayon to color in the sky, that's great. If not, you could always use some blue paint and you can just simply go around your snowflakes. Take your time with your work. Remember to color neatly and completely and good luck with your catching snowflake self-portraits.